And I was surprised, but I quickly, after the first one, went to put my phone down on the floor. Are you okay? <laughs> and welcome back to another video. Today is another Honda Element project. In the last video, we made this bed. Uh, I took a nap on it last Friday on my lunch break. It was great, I slept so good. The biggest issue with turning a car into a mini camper is all the windows. While they are great to have panoramic, panoramic views all the way around, it does suck that people can like come up on you and see you. I do have pretty dark tint on my windows, except for the very front one and I think the back one. But if there's lights on here, you could still see in here clear as day. And if you really got close enough to a tinted window, you could still see in. So today's project is gonna be um, not really blacking out the windows, but blocking out the windows. I'm gonna start with the three on the side. I might try to make a curtain for the back window, probably not today, and I'll figure out something for the front window. What we're using, I'll show you. So what I'm using is a reflective material called Reflectex. You can use this for insulation in your house. Uh, it'll be good to keep, like if it's cold outside, the little bit of heat that I have built up in here, it'll be good to help keep the heat inside and it'll be good to help keep the heat and cold from coming in. I got this on Amazon. It cost, I wanna say it was like 10 bucks. And this is a 24 by 10, 24 inches by so two foot by 24 foot or 20 foot i don't remember and i took the label off already i'll put a link down below for where i found this it's not affiliated or anything but if you wanted to do this it'd be very easily hopefully i'll have enough to do maybe the sunroof also but i think it's going to be tight just doing the windows but i'm going to make six panels to go in the windows so i'll use this to keep them in the windows i got some picture framer hangers. So half of this will go on the Reflectex, the other half will go on the window, probably two per window, and then it'll just be like Velcro, be able to take on and off. And when I'm done with this, or one day, if I ever sell, I don't ever want to sell this car. If I ever sell this car, this stuff, pull right off really easily. Hopefully it holds up in the heat and the cold. All right, let's get to work. I also have a knife and a Sharpie in case I could use them. They work really easily. I was surprised. I don't even have this stuck in. Probably need to though. So does, this is the first one. Obviously it's not the best. But it goes right in there. I think I may take two of these. Put one here. One there. And then that'll keep it pulled tight. Toit. Toit like a toy guy. Later. Okay so one down. Still a bunch to go. That first one took me probably 30 minutes. Uh, here's from the outside. Can't see in. I took, uh, there's two little pieces of um, Velcro. Stuff works great. It's amazing how good this stuff is. So it slides right in pretty easily. Uh, I wasn't able to get it perfect. This is the first one. They're the first, first of anything is never perfect. But I covered this side with a black duct tape. I really wish I had like a gaff tape that would be matte finish to go over it. Uh, Cause that wouldn't be reflective at all. But this kind of just looks like the window 
uh, is a little reflective and it's got the uh, velcro strips so all you do slide it in push against a few moments later there you go now i just got to make the rest of the windows at least for the window that you're stuck on right now i can just copy the that one and make another one <sighs> Relatively a simple task. Uh, I was actually surprised how easy that it went in. So the back windows, once I got those in, I used the Velcro strips to hold them in. The other windows, I was able to make them so tight, they just slide right in. I was able to do all four, like one, two, three, four, all six of the windows with the pack that I had bought. I was not able to do the back window or the sunroof, the smoon roof as I like to call it. The thing that I'm most surprised about is like how rigid this stuff becomes. It came in a roll and it holds its shape relatively easy or relatively strong. This is actually two pieces. I pieced together two pieces to make this one, but you can't tell and it's in there pretty good. The black side goes on the outside of the window. Just push it in there. I can have lights on in there and you wouldn't be able to see inside the only issue i came up on you can see on that one and the other uh front door i ran out of black tape that i was covering the outsides with so i wasn't able to completely hide it but I was, i'm not going to be stealth camping like i'm not going to be camping out in walmart or public places i'll be camping at like campgrounds or in my aunt's yard man uncle From the inside, it blocks it out pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna get a sun shield. I think that's what those things are called. Uh, just like at Walmart or something, probably the cheapest one that I can find, and cover the front window. And I'm not gonna worry about the, the smoon roof because you get a pretty good view, especially at night. And then the back window, I just took the blanket that I had and did that. Currently, it is just tucked in the door eventually probably when I get done shooting this video, I would like to make just where I can pull it to the side. Here's the full 360. I love this car. Uh, so are you doing this with your element? Are you doing this with any type of vehicle? Let me know down in the comments how you're doing. Are you a full-time Honda Element van lifer, or is this like me? Is this your weekend camper? That's what I'm pretty much setting it up for. That is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you did not, hit the yourself in the face. That's probably the nicest way of saying it. The new plan for the vlog or the videos is I'm probably going to be doing some stuff on the Element. I don't know what the next project will be. If you have ideas for projects for a little mini camper, let me know. Uh, but there will be only two videos a week from now until I don't know, definitely the rest of the year. Be a video coming out every Monday and a video every Friday. <sighs> I think everybody's in the house taking a nap. I think I'm going to lay down in here and take a nap. So I will see you guys Friday. Have a great week.